ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರೋನ್ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪೂಷದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಕೃಷ್ಣೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತವರಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬೋಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬೋಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರ ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ಈಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದುಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪಂ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ 
वागीशजुषु बदने लक्ष्मीजस् बक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबीत सिंगम हम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे दुर्गा में पथि में अंध स्वस्खलोत्पाद गतिर मुहु सजि सकृपाजि दान सत सन्तु अवलम्बन गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत बहुपाल जगदगुरु टोल पीपल थिंक दैट द वे ऑफ भजन इज वेरी इजी गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत बहुपाल जगदगुरु टोल that the way of bhajan is very easy there is soft flower all around we can put our leg and march forward people think so there is so many flower in the way of our on the way of our bhajan so we can put our leg we very easily on soft flower and we can go march ahead this is not this is not their right conception those who have preliminary idea about bhajan they can understand that in the way of bhajan there is countless throne throne countless throne each and every time you can put your leg one throne can go inside you can say oh full of throne भक्तिपथ इहो कंटक कोटि रुद्ध हा हा क जमी किम हम करोमी चैतन्य चंद्र यदि नाद्यम कि हम करोशी इफ चैतन्य महापुर नॉट गोइंग टू ब्लेस अस हेल्प अस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिवोटिस मोर प्रैक्टिकल देन देर इज नो वे इच एंड एवरी स्टेप वी कैन स्लीप and fall down bhakti pat iho kantak kothi ruddha crores of throne there different kind of problem can come can stop you to do bhajan there is kamini kanchan different kind of la puja pratishtha can always come to disturb you you can feel one kind of irresistible pressure inside you you try to check yourself but cannot check i know you try to check yourself to build up your spiritual character but still impossible because anyway maya devi cannot allow you to do go ahead maya devi cannot allow so many ch- check post there is so many check post one check post you cross another check post another check post, all check post after that when you are going to prove that you have tremendous love unto the lotus feet of guru vishnu bhagwan then maya devi going to help you in the form of yog maya when maya devi can discover there is no other way that devotee has a tremendous love for guru vishnu then maya devi cannot do it maya devi can okay you can go in the form of yog maya maya devi can help the devotee because yog maya mean yog maya mean yog maya mean yog maya mean she can arrange our meeting with krishna meeting mane seva you can arrange. that's why bhakti mr tagu writing in kirtan kulo devi yog maya more ki pakori 
Abaram Sangbiro Sangbori Ve Tumi Vishwa Dori Sunachi Agam Vede Mahima Tomar Sri Krishna Vimukhe Dori Karao Sangsar Sri Krishna Sanmukha Jar Bhagya Kame Hoi Tare Mukti Diya Karo Ashoka Bohai Kulo Devi Jogamaya Mare Kiba Kori Abaram Sangbori Ve Tumi Vishwa Dori Sunachi Agam Vede Mahima Tomar Sri Krishna Vimukhe Dori Karao Sangsar Shri Krishna Sanmukha Jar Bhagya Kame Hoi Tare Mukti Diya Karo Ashoka Bohai Nishkapat Hoi Mata Aam Pane Chao very nice. Kulo Devi Jogmaya, you please bestow your kipa on us. Otherwise, we fall in, so we have no other way. I know you are going to put some carton screen in front of people so that they cannot see Bhagavan. Kulo Devi Jogmaya, Muniki Bhakuri, Avaran, there is one carton, there is one covering. Mayadavi don't allow you to see Krishna or anything related to Krishna or Prakito Dham, Nam, devotee, anything. Mayadavi cannot allow you. Mayadavi cannot allow to meet with a Prakita Vastu. That's why it is written a Prakita Vastu nohe Prakita Gochar. With material conception, material brain, material body. We cannot, we cannot have any chance to meet with a prakita vastu. Not possible. The Bhakti Muttaku request in, we have a Bhakti Muttaku requesting, we have heard in different Puran and Sastra, Bhagavatam here, there, that if you are going to favor somebody, if you are going to bestow, keep on somebody, you allow that devotee, I mean Jivatma, to go ahead. We heard Sunachi Agambe de Mahimato, all your glories we hear from different sastra. Sri Krishna Bhimukha Dori those who are aversive to Krishna Bhajan, we heard in sastra all about your glories. Those who are aversive, those who are not ready to serve Krishna, Guru, Vishnu, Bhagavan, you are putting them into jail, jail mean trap of Maya. And those who are interested to do some seva, some sukriti, seven mukhi, seven mukhi sukriti, you open the gate and allow her to go ahead. In fact, you are going to help them. That's why. In Brajo Kumarika, in Vrindavan Dham, we know regarding Bastaran Lila, there we can find Kulo Devi Jogumaya Muriki Pakuri, Avaran Sangbirubi Tumi Vishodari, Kattayani Mahamai, Mahayogin Nadishwari, Nanda Gopa Sutam Devi Poting Mikurte Namaha. This prayer. In front of Jogamaya. Anyway, this is the point. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada, Paramahansa Jagat Guru speaking that if I can deliver only one soul, I know crores of people in the world, they are jumping into fire. We, going, we want to stop them, but they they are not ready to obey my advice. Papa speaking, in each and every corner of this world, even if possible, you can preach in heaven about the Kipa of Gauranga, if possible. Like Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Bhaktivinoda went to heaven. They invite Indra, Ma Indra Maharaj going to heaven. Giving solution at the same time some, you know, conception about Bhakti. It was the nature of Bhakti Muttaku. Great learned personality. Paul Sigo. Big Paul Sigo. Big personality. He is writing so many. Vast knowledge. He was district magistrate. His name was Bankim Chadna Chattabaddai. At the same time, he is district magistrate. At the same time, he is an erudite scholar. So big. 
Bhakti Mani Thakur wanted to give some basic idea about devotional practice. Not ready. Who wrote Bande Mataram? You heard? Bande Mataram. Indian. Not ready. It is quite impossible. So, Prabhupada used to say, in each and every corner of this world, we should preach with sincerity, without any self-interest. Without any self-interest, we should preach each and every corner of this world to deliver those fallen souls, those who are ready to jump into fire. We like to catch them. Stop! But they are home. You get out. We like to jump into fire. What is the interest of your father? Eh? Why you are going to check us? This is the mood of present people. We like to jump. What is concern to you? They are jumping into fire. So, Papa speaking anyway, we know that crowds of people, most of the people, they are not going to obey me. Papa still, with full enthusiastic mood, I like to approach all over this world about the intact message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I know they are going to reject me, but still, this is my consolation. This is consolation in my life that if I can deliver only one, only one Jivatma, Baba speaking, if I can deliver only one Jivatma from the trap of Maya, then this is my consolation that I can think I, I have some contribution in the way of Sri Chaitanya Manabhishtam Sthap, Manabhishtya Sthapitam Jena Bhutale. Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Shapadantikam. About Rupa Goswami speaking, Rupa Goswami was successful to implement, to implement all the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Rupa Goswami was successful to implement all the desire of Gauranga Mahaprabhu in practical form. Papa speaking well. If I can deliver at least one devotee, only one, then I can think I have some contribution in the way of this, you know, Sri Chaitanya Manavhishtam Sthapitam Jena Bhutan. Now everywhere for every Acharya, every like fallen soul like me, everybody is speaking. Sri Chaitanya Manavhishtam Sthapitam Jena What I have done? What I have done for you? I have done nothing. I think I have done nothing. I think I have done nothing. I was supposed to do so many things by my limited capacity, limited knowledge, what I can do. And alone I cannot do so many things I like to do. Many times, especially Guru Padma speaking, before leaving body, before leaving this material world, leaving body I should not speak, because their body is transcendental, they are going to go with this body. And like the snack, you know, snack, you know, snack in Vindavan, Vindavan Gokul forest. One day I find there is one snack in my room. I, snack how? The snack can come because in a mud room, mud. I carefully discover, no, it is not snack. It is the skin of the snack intact. I can discuss this point someday, limited time. I am, I am really, I am feeling very unhappy. I cannot explain so many things at a time. Guru Patan was speaking, Prabhupada living, his, Prabhupada living this material world, <coughs> before living this material world, for the, <coughs> before living this material world, at least for nine, eight, nine days, Guru Pātva was speaking at least for eight, nine days. Repeatedly, Papa speaking about what to do, what not to do, best to keep on everybody. Always, before leaving this material world, Papa, for whole life, Papa, whole life, Papa speaking, but especially when before leaving this material world <coughs> for eight, nine days, Continuously, 
Prabhupada giving his last advice. Last advice. Pranamananda Brahmachari, Pranamananda Brahmachari, I am in Sila Bhakti Pumod Purigashim Maharaj. Pranamananda Brahmachari and Paramananda Brahmachari, the Seva Kap Guru, Prabhupada, all, they are making note. Whenever Prabhupada is speaking, it's immediately note. Whenever he will note. In this, from this, that note, Guru Pātva was speaking, most of the time, Prabhupāda used to say that there is a scarcity of Harikatha all over the world. There is a scarcity <coughs> all over the world about Harikatha. Now you think, at that time, I mean the time, at the time of Prabhupāda, there was countless Harikatha. Countless Harikatha. Our Bhakti the Bhandu Goswami, Bhakti Padip Tito Goswami Maharaj, Goswami Maharaj. Actually, those who are pure guru, foolish people, they have some party color. They are not going to accept me. Sometimes they say, Sambhava is a great, sometimes they kick, provide a kick on my chest. If they feel some disturbance, this is their nature. But if they are going to stand on a neutral platform, never they can attack me. If they have some jealousy, mascharya, they can attack. Our Kesav Goswami Maharaj, in open assembly, shouting, My God brother Goswami Maharaj, Ban Maharaj preaching all over the world, there is one in kind of, you know, evolution. Kesav Goswami Maharaj. Follow. But for other Acharya, you see at present, if you say you are here, going to hear about from Sambhava, no, no, he is criticizing. Because I am speaking about Popa. Popa speaking, those who are Guru Vaishnava in true sense, they are bound to speak something negative. That is not criticism. Popa speaking himself, I can show you. Open and show you. Popa speaking, sometime, pure Guru Vaishnava, elevated. They are so merciful, they are bound to speak about a negative, negative point. That doesn't mean that they are criticizing. But for bonded soul, criticism is totally prohibited. Pure Vaishnava, their criticism is Harikatha, not criticism. Pure Harikatha. They are bound to speak. They are bound to speak to check the situation. They are bound to check, they are bound to speak this way to check the downfall. What they can do? You think it is criticism because you have weakness, idiot. They are not criticism. They have no time to criticize anybody. Rascal. Like those, those Sahajiyas, those Sahajiyas, they are Navadip. Sometimes they are coming in front of Prabhupada. Why you are criticizing? You do your own bhajan. Why you are going to speak about what we are doing? You do your own bhajan. Prabhupada laughing. They can do anything. They can do anything, whatever they like. They think, pure Guru Vishnu, they have no right to speak. They think so. Their bhajan means to misguide people. Their preaching means to misguide people. Their preaching means to collect billions of dollars. And like Hiranyakashipu, they are going to die ultimately. That is their preaching. Papa repeatedly preaching, you have no right to speak your own philosophy. You have no right. You have no right to speak about your own philosophy. Who are you to speak about your own philosophy? Idiot number one. You will have to speak about all our Guru Varga told. That is your preaching. It is not your preaching. It is collection of your La Puja Patishta. Who told you it is preaching? So, Prabhupada used to say, pure Guru Vaishnava, sometimes they are bound to speak about negative things. But be sure it is not criticism. Out of their merciful attitude, they are bound to speak this way, so that the cheater cannot cheat you, to save you. They have no self-interest. What I can do? What I can do? I have any self-interest? You think I have any self-interest? You think so? You give me permission, I can go away. I promise I can stop my Harikatha. If you are Popat going to speak me, you stop your Harikatha, I can stop. 
Prabhupada Guru Varga coming in my dream and speak because they are helping me. That's why I am speaking. Bhakti Vinod Thakur writing in Sajjan Tosani long ago, 120, 130 years back. Bhakti Vinod Thakur writing in Sajjan Tosani that those who are going to act, those who are going to play a drama like a Siddha Mahatma. Those who are going to play a drama, just like a Siddha Mahatma, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Oh, no problem there. Let them do what it concerns to me. I am doing my own bhajan. Bhakti Mantra was speaking. I can show you. Sajjan Tosani. Those who are going to play drama in the name of Hari Bhajan, they like to prove that we are Goswami, we are Paramansa. Actually, they are rascal. They have no mercy. If you have mercy, then you first try to check yourself, then you can try to check her or him. It's a nature. Because we know, many times I discuss from Pallad Maharaj. Pallad Maharaj, speaking in front of Vishingade Prabhu, I am not so selfish. I am not so selfish that I can arrange my own mangal. I am interested to arrange mangal for all. Basdev Goswami also. Janma, Dasu, Yatuan, I know. They are what? Last line? Shatyam Param Dhimahi. You all are invited. You all are invited. You all are invited. Whole population of this world invited. Come on. We all together can pray unto the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord. I mean their absolute truth. Shatyam Param Dhimahi. We cannot concentrate in we can we we cannot concentrate, we should not concentrate on Maya. We can concentrate on the lotus feet of that absolute truth. Because it is illusion, illusory energy, Maya. Why should I concentrate? Why am I going to waste my life? Why? What for? Foolish. Srila Satchayananda Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking, those who are going to play a drama like a Siddha Mahatma, it is far better. Those who are going to preach in tact way, all the teachings of Chaitanya Mahavala. Those who are going for preaching, first of all, you will have to get established. First of all, you will have to get established in the acharan and adarsha, idealism and teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Bhakti Mantra was speaking. Those who are going to get established in the acharan of shown by idealism and teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, those who are going to preaching to save others with tremendous mercy, they are far better, they are far better, they are far better, they are far elevated. Then those who are going to act as the Hari Bhajan, those who are going to at least going to do arrange their own mangal. That's why Pallad Mara is teaching us. Prabhu, I am not self. I am not selfish. That so that I can arrange my own mangal. And what mangal you can do? My young mangal is also already my mangal is already ensured by Naraji Maharaj, your disciple, your devotee. My mangal is also already ensured by Naraji Maharaj. So you are doing to give some mangal. What mangal? I pray you, Prabhu, you do something for this, you know, fallen soul, the demonic character, these are small boys. You do something. Because in the way of their traveling through 14 worlds, without you, no other, no other support. You are the only support. Kaye no deva munayu shabi mukti kama maunam charanti vijani no parathanista noita no bihayo kipona no bimumukshayeko nanyam dada sasaranam bramato no pashe 
वार स्पीकिंग प्राय न देव मुनयो सभी मुक्ति कामा मौनम चरंत बिजनी न परार्थनिष्ठा नैता न विहाय के पवना न विमुक्ष एको नान्यम तदस्सरनम ब्रह्मतो नुपाशे You must arrange kripa for them, because because they have no support in the way of their traveling to fourteen worlds. They are in cyclic order, cyclic order. You do kripa. Why you are so miser? Eh? You are so rich, Prabhu. Rich because bhakti is there, sarup shakti is there. Sarup shakti is there, then you are rich, na? That's why Mahaprabhu told, na? प्रेम धन बिना प्रेम धन बिना व्यर्थ दरिद्र जीवन प्रेम धन बिना व्यर्थ दरिद्र जीवन दास करी वेतन मरे देव प्रेम व्हाट माप बुझी इफ यू हैव भक्ति दान इफ यू हैव भक्ति प्रॉपर्टी इफ यू हैव भक्ति प्रॉपर्टी इन योर हार्ट देन यू आर रिच माप टीचिंग ना इफ यू हैव बिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर आर बिल्डिंग एवरीथिंग आई थिंक इट इज लाइक स्टूल एंड यू रिंग इफ आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एंगेज इट Engage it for Krishna seva. Even one night, I didn't think it necessary to stay here. I know you arrange for me. I didn't think it necessary to stay here one night, even one night. I feel comfortable there. All broken thing, everything, I feel comfortable. It's more practical for me. Don't try to change my life. I like to stay this way up to my last breath. Breath. Anyway. Because we are learning everything from Bhakti Pant Puri Goshi Maharaj, we are learning from Gaur Kishor Baba Ji Maharaj. Bahu Baat. Surely I am not going to follow one fallen soul as my idealism. Surely, be sure. You try to cheat me, I can understand. Try to cheat me, anybody, anybody. I I I put in in basas and in front of Guru Maharaj. You try to cheat me. Immediately, I can give some clue. Ah, you should go this way. They are going to do this way. They can attack. Okay, go this way. Automatically come. Any letter you put question, I have no time. When I see letter, immediately I start writing. Immediately, not that I can think from two days, three days. Not that. immediately <laughs> because all Guru Maharaj helping me, Prabhupada helping me this way. So, Pallad Maharaj speaking, you must help. Similar way, Papa speaking, Papa speaking. We must distribute. We must dis. Preaching means preaching means preaching means to distribute karuna. Preaching means to distribute karuna. Preaching doesn't mean to show my you know, I am a big monkey. You see me. It is not preaching. It is not preaching. Oh, police people all over the world. I have one message. From Sri Lopapa, I am going to give you. I am not going to uh, make any new philosophy, so nobody have power to attack me. If they come, they can go away. They are not making any philosophy, Guru Baru. Otherwise, you cut your relationship with Gauri Amar and go away. It is good that you are not going to identify yourself from Gauri Amar. I am very funny. I am very lucky. I am very happy that you are. Less interested to link your name with Gauri Amar. This is your foolishness. And at the same time, like I can give the example, like Pallad Maharaj, when speaking to father, when Pallad Maharaj speaking to father, father me not speaking father. Pallad Maharaj very clever. Pallad Maharaj not speaking father. Pallad Maharaj speaking very clever. Tat sad manne hai asur var jo dehi naam shada samud bigno diya masad grahat. हित्वात्पातम गृहमंदूपम गृहमंदकूपम वनम गिमाश्रय तत्साधु मे असूर वर्ज देहीनम सदा समुद्भिघ्न धियाम सदृहा हित्वात्पात गृहमंदकूपम वनम गिमाश्रय आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस श्लोक ओनली वन लाइन हिरण्य कशिपु द डेम ऑन इज वेरी हैपी That my son going to speak that you are the topmost demon. When Pallad Maharaj speaking to Hiranya Kashyap, that sad man is Asur of our Jodhi Hinam. He Asur topmost Asur, Asur Raj topmost Asur. 
I think it is the duty of our bonded soul to go to forest, to take shelter of Krishna. Here and Lagos, we become very happy. Ah, he is going to give some big honor to me. He is speaking Asura Barjo, topmost Asura. But those who are sadhu, they are laughing. He is so idiot. He is so idiot. He is going to laugh. My son is you know, very intelligent. He is going to give me this title, Asura Barjo. Similarly, those who are going to identify themselves separately, without Gauriya Mahat, I think they are more than Hiranyakasibu. More and more than Hiranyakasibu, I can challenge. More than Hiranyakasibu. Because they like to link, cut their link with Gauriya Mahat. Very good. We are laughing. It is your privilege. But ultimately, you are going to give zero. Not zero. You can go down. Down and down. Not even zero. Negative portion. Very good. Your idea, your Siddhanta Vichar, your idea, your Siddhanta Vichar can prove that you are foolish number one. Your idea, your Siddhanta Vichar, everything can prove that you are idiot number one, foolish number one. That is your outcome of your preaching all over the world. Very good. We have nothing. What will come and go? If you are going to identify yourself, very good. At least we can sing some dirty, you know, People, they can stay away from Gauriya Mat. We want so. Now at present in Acharya, they are going to bring all garbage here. But Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur told, many times I told, Bhakti Thakur speaking, some, some important personality of this society, not as per my Siddhanta. One important person, according to this society, I'm going to suggest, Thakur, why not you allow everybody, be liberal, be liberal, allow everybody in Gauriya Mat. Gauriya Bhajan, then after that, survival of the fishes, those who can stay, they can stay, those who cannot stay, they can go. Bhakti Mahatma, no. Bhakti Mahatma is saying, no. No, not at all. We cannot allow any dirty people to enter into Gauriya. Because the identity of Gauriya Mart, identity of one Acharya from Gauriya Mart means he is going to identify himself like Bhakti Chakur, he is going to clean this Nam Hatta. This is Nam Hatta. This is Nam Hatta. If you are not going to take the responsibility to, to clean this Nam Hatta, on the contrary, if you are going to get some garbage from outside and put into Goryamat, then you are not from Goryamat. And those devotees you are putting in Goryamat, they are not from Goryamat. They are not. They have not seen Goryamat. Those Acharya, they have not seen Gauriyamar. They never been into Gauriyamar. They have never taken initiation from Gauriyamar. They have never taken. Never taken initiation. Never taken initiation. Never taken initiation. Three times a week. They never. If they have taken initiation, their mood, their character, their Siddhanta Vichar, their activities can prove. They can make fool of you. They cannot make fool of you. So Bhakti Mahatma was speaking, well, I cannot allow. I cannot allow some garbage in, inside Gauriya Bhajan. Dushta Gorutheke Shunnagwal Valo. A Goshala full of, you know, dirty cows. Very wicked cows. Bhakti Mahatma was speaking. It is far better to keep the Goshala back end. Whenever I can get one nice Gomat, I can free. It is the answer of Bhakti Mahatma I can obey you. I can obey you or I can obey Bhakti Mahatma Thakur. Whom I can obey? Whom I can obey? What you want? So this way, it is very painful. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur speaking, those who are going to distribute mercy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, first of all, they are receiving mercy, they are getting mercy and distributing among common, common people to deliver them. They are far and far and far better than those who are going to do their own mangal. I can do my own mangal. You give me license. All Gauriya Vaishnav such. All Gauriya Vaishnav, they are running negative way. At least those who are understanding something about Prabhupada, they give me, they speak me. To arrange mangal, personal mangal is easy. To arrange mangal for you is so tough, I know. Even after that, you can kick on me. 
I know. But still, I am keeping patience because you are, you are actually a mental patient. You are actually one patient. If patient going to kick on my chest, but still I cannot. I am going to make operation. In Vrindavan, same thing happened. 25 years back, one devotee, he was admitted to some hospital. That time I was speaking Harikatha in Chaitanya Gorimat, Vrindavan. From there also I was bound to go away. Because I am speaking about this thing. Chaitanya Gorimat society, not now. If not, then Madhav Goswami Maharaj can allow me. I know. Anyway, one devotee was admitted to hospital. I was speaking Harikatha there. Those Harikatha, that time the sophisticated arrangement was not there. Somebody makes some recording and gone everything. So many Harikatha. Bengali, Hindi. I went to the hospital. I find, I, I discover, I go to the I go to the patient in the hospital. I say, Prabhu, how are you? In the meantime, one nurse coming. One nurse. Nurse, you know, nurse? One nurse coming. Nurse going to catch a hand and going to put some saline, everything. When the nurse going to put some saline, then that idiot brahmachari, is not at all brahmachari, he is idiot number, rascal. He is going to put a, provide a big kick on the chest of that Mataji. Mataji, fall down, I just saw. Why you kick? See, is Mataji, you kick. Mataji, get up. She is not feeling any. She is not feeling any angry attitude. I was stung. She is not Vaishnav. Come on, she is not Vaishnav. But still, she is not expressing. I said, Mataji, I beg for pardon to you on behalf. It's like rascal, you know. It is natural because it is my duty to give treatment to the patient. Patient sometimes feeling some mental disturbance can provide a kick. Similar case with me. Somebody going to provide a kick on my chest, somebody going to shake something. Follow. Nothing. Nothing, no reaction there. But I am not speaking for myself. This way, patient is supposed to provide a kick with this expectation. Be sure, with this expectation I am going to serve you. You are not serving me. You are not serving me. I am serving you. You are not serving me. I am serving you. You try to serve, but you cannot serve me. I am not going to take any service from you. I am serving you. In connection with Supreme Lord. Because I know, if I can deliver you, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can bless me. You have one contribution in the way of Chaitanya See Chaitanya Mana Vishta Sapi Mana Vishtam Sapitam Jana Bhutale. With this expectation, I can get some reward from Bhagavan. What reward? I've done. One devotee. If before my death, if I can deliver one devotee, one, one, one Jivatma, I feel more than enough. Who is going to expect? Who is going to accept? But still with full hope, I'm speaking this. So many times. Guru Pat Padma used to, used to speak the last advice of Prabhupada. Many things I like to speak about what I am discussing, all spoken by Bhakti Mahapuri Goswami Maharaj. I can show you a document. So, Bhakti Mahapuri Goswami Maharaj is not an ordinary man. I am not discussing about a man who is, who is made up of some blood and flesh. I am not speaking about such a man who is made up of blood and flesh. I am speaking about the Bani Sharupa, that great devotee, Paramahansa Acharya, whose patience, whose enduring power is endless. Whose enduring power and patience was endless. One by one, if I go on speaking about the topics of Guru Padma, Paramahansa, I can make one Maha, Mahabharata, epics. I can make one epics. You have no patience to read. So, he used to tell many times. Many times he used to sell. 
my, my, our Prabhupada, at the name of Prabhupada, in the name of Prabhupada, when the topics of Prabhupada coming, I am not speaking any dry philosophy. All my heart I am going to open in front of you, give. If somebody is going to open some topics about Prabhupada, first of all, he used, he used to start crying. By the topics of Prabhupada, he used to cry. <laughs> used to cry. So how much love, how much love he has, he had no, he has, because he is there, in turn world, for Prabhupada. And we have challenging, challenging mood about Guru Vaishnava. What he can do? Now, we want to estimate one devotee according, according to their number of foreign trip and according to their riches and according to the number of disciples they have. This is our foolishness. Otherwise, why people ready? Kesav Goswami was speaking, we are so foolish. Kesav Goswami was speaking, we are so foolish that where it is not available, foolish people running there. Kesav Goswami was speaking. This is the magic spell of Kali. Paramaja Kesav Goswami, my Kesav Goswami, my Gurudev, speaking. My Shridhar Goswami, my Gurudev, speaking. My Gurudev, they are. They are speaking. That what is not available there, people so full is running there to get their thing. Kesav Goswami is laughing and speaking. It's Kali Kal. It's not available. You can get Bhakti there. You can get Bhakti there. I can tell you, you can get Bhakti there. You speak, but you are running there. You're giving garland, you're giving to spend money there. Go to hell, what I can do? Go to hell. I have no responsibility. Go to hell, what I can do? I cannot save you. Kesav Goswami is present. What is not available there, not there at all, they are going to uh, give kippa. Yes. What is it is not available there. They are devoid of kippa. No kippa there. Let people die. What we can do? So Guru Padma many times used to quote the Siddhanta which are a problem. All, all writings, all the writings, all the writings, all the writings and speech of Srila Bhakti Pramod Purika Maharaj is supported by the Siddhanta Vichar of Prabhupada. Each and every line, if you read any writings of Prabhupada told this. Vishwanath Chakudya told this. Bhakti Pramod Thakur told this. All the time. All the time. It's supported by Sautapantha. But you have no support about Sautapantha, but you want to project yourself at the topmost picture all over, all over the world. And Bhagavan Gauranga Mapu and Nityananda laughing there. He is going to project himself as a great preacher all over the world. Whereas Nityananda Bhu laughing, joking. You have no... In my book, in my registered, registered book, no... You know, your name is not there. In my registered book, your name is not there as a devotee. What to speak about a great preacher? Preacher means Acharya. Many times Prabhupada used to say, it is the duty of a pure Acharya. What is the? What is the topmost duty of an Acharya? Is to give full protection to Siddhanta Bani. Guru Padma also used to say, many times, many times, in our own Sampadaya, what to speak, what to, what my son, what to speak about other Sampadaya, Shahajiya. What to speak about those Sahajiya and other society? What to speak about those, you know, Sahajiyas and other societies? In our own Sampadaya, they are taking shelter and told what is with Sadhguru. They claim for 40 years, 50 years, they are preaching all rubbish, Sahajiya. In the name of Raga Nuga Rubar, they are all Sahajiya. Guru Padma used to say. So, Guru Padma very often used to say that before leaving body, before leaving this material world, Prabhupada used to say many times, Prabhupada used to say many times, there is a scarcity of Harikatha. There is a scarcity of Harikatha. 
all over the world. Guru Bhagavatam writing in his in his note, writing in his article that Pope told to print and preach, to print and preach different books of Siddhanta, to print and preach all different Sautabani, Sautabani, preach, was the heart and soul of Prabhupada. Prabhupada used to say, it is, it is the samam bonam, it is the samam bonam of your bhajan to preach all the idealism and siddhanta which are of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Gauranga Mahaprabhu means Rupa Sanatana, Bhattu Rukunath, Jiva Goswami, I mean Bhakti Minut Thakur, Seventh Goswami, all seven. They are in Sautapantha, they are in the lineage. Many times Guru Padpani. At present, if you, can, if you can discover one devotee who is, who is devoid of jealousy, I can immediately go and catch it. You can show me. I am not speaking there is nobody. I am not speaking there is nobody. Maybe. But we cannot see him. One devotee who is out of jealousy, I can immediately go and wash his lotus feet and drink. But the case of Bhakti Bhakti Puri Goswami Maharaj, what the case of Kesav Goswami Maharaj? You see? What the case of Shridhar Goswami Maharaj? They have no jealousy. No jealousy. One, one big personality, I mean, he is the assistant principal of one college. Assistant principal, one college, big college. Somehow, he came to know about Gauriya Siddhanta, about Gauranga Mahapu. He wanted to take shelter onto a lotus feet of Bhakti Mohat Puri Somehow, it was a lot. He coming to Chaitanya Gorima because Guru Maharaj never wanted to make any mat. Whole life. Never. Because no, if I make mat, there can be some disturbance, some politics. But Gopinath, he used to worship I can come to the point after. I can come to the point after. But he used to worship Gopinath for a long time. Radha Gopinath. His Ishtadev. And from home also. Anyway. One day he is going to approach Sri Bhakti Bhama Purigeshwami Maharaj, who was there in Chaitanya Gauri By that time, our Madhav Goswami Maharaj already gone from this material world. By that time, Madhav Goswami Maharaj already gone from this material world, and Bharti Maharaj and those elevated devotees like, you know, Bhakti Bhala they wanted, they used to think, they used to think that Bhakti Bhama Purigeshwami Maharaj is non-different from our Gurudev. Any action, any Siddhanta, anything, we can go and discuss with Maharaj. Maharaj, what going to do? This is called Anugatha. You can go through the writings of those, you know, uh, you know, envious people. You can show the name of Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta. They are not writing. They like to erase. They like to erase the name of Gauriyama. They like to erase the name of Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. I like to erase the name of But I cannot allow to erase. If you have your power, money power, you can try to do. You can try and do to erase the name of Goryamat. And I am alone. It is not my false ego. It is my it is my faith in Guru Varga. You try to erase. And I am alone. You all can speak Harikatha. I can alone stand and go on shouting like a dog. To protect the interest of my Guru Bhargava. Try to hear. Try to open your eyes. Block-headed. Rascal. Anyway, so, he is approaching. Where from you are coming? Guru Padma? Anybody. Any, even one five years boy. I have seen. Any five years boy. I wonder. Five years boy. There was no so much restriction at the time of Guru Maharaj. As five years boy, opened the door, I am going to pay Dandava to Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, old age, I am speaking of, cannot see 
whenever going to get the sound of door open, only, only who is coming is not looking. Who is coming is not going to see anybody coming. Guru Pātpāt in bed. Somebody going to open the door, tap, immediately. Immediately fold your hand. Who is coming, you see fast. After that you can pay, no. For all jiva. Five years boy, yes. Is to come. Why you come to me? His voice was very, not like me. I am speaking like, you know, lion. <laughs> because I am the son of Kesab Maharaj also. I am the son of Kesab Maharaj, Santam Maharaj also. <laughs> so some nature of father can come. I think Guru Sattva is one and single. My Guru Padma, I can discover within, you know, I can discover my Guru Padma inside Kesab Goswami Maharaj. So I can see. Humble is, humbleness is there inside me or not. That is the judgment of Guru Padma and Prabhupada. I don't know, I have humbleness or not. If Tinadavi Babi is not there, then surely I cannot speak Harikatha. Because it is that Siddhanta of Prabhupada. If there is no Tinadavi, then you have no right to speak about absolute truth. So I don't know, it is your judgment or Prabhupada can speak. I have Tinadavi or not. But this much I know, I like to serve my Guru Varga. Like a dog, always interested to protect the interest of Guru Varga. That much I can that much I can confirm in Basasan. You bring one book and put one stamp. That I can do. Guru Pātpadma asking, Where from you are coming? I am coming from Behala, South Calcutta. One place, Behala. Behala, you are coming. Why? What is your name? My name is Naranchanda uh, Chak, Ch uh, Naranchanda Bandhapadhyaya or something. What is your designation? I am actually uh, assistant principal of that college. Oh, really? You are educated. Nice, nice. So why you are coming? Uh, Maharaj, I like to take shelter onto your lotus feet to do Hari Bhajan. You are coming to me? Why you are coming to me? Because uh, I heard about you. I have information about you. You are very, your, you know, your, uh, you know, your, you know, Trinath Viswanish Bhav, your Siddhanta Vichar, your efficacy, your Vaishnavism, catching me. Have some attraction. So I am coming. <laughs> you are coming to me. You are living Ganga. You are living Ganga near your house and coming to take bath in a pond? What do you mean? Srila Santa Maharaj is there in Behala. Why not you go and take shelter there? He is coming to take shelter unto the Lord of Spirit of Bhakti Krishna. He is speaking. You are coming to take bath in a pond? There is Ganga, Santa Goswami. Whereas Santa Goswami is always saying, he is my Sikha Guru. You see the mood of Vaishnava. I can show the mood of Kesha Goswami Maharaj also. Kesha Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Guru, Mohsen Goswami Maharaj, all. They are preaching. Some devotee, some people coming, they are giving unto the lotus feet of Kesam Maharaj. They are preaching. Come on, they are preaching. Follow. They are preaching. Bhakti Kamal Mosun Goswami Maharaj, preaching. And from Bihar, Baksar, Naran Maharaj came. Sri Nan Goswami Maharaj came. First, he was attracted to take shelter and to a lotus feet of Bhakti Kumar Musa Goswami. By the preaching of, by the preaching of Bhakti Kumar Musa Goswami Maharaj, he came first. But Bhakti Kumar Musa Goswami giving this disciple and to a lotus feet, giving this devotee and to a lotus feet, Kesav Goswami. But at present, at present, what happened? Politics. Even they cannot allow you to hear about their absolute truth. Even they cannot allow. What to speak about taking shelter? I think for infinity period, your luck is good. I think so. I think for infinity period, your luck is good. Otherwise, there is no scope to, to hear about that absolute truth. No scope. Your luck is good. You cannot discover that your luck is good. Why? Thousands of people near, not coming. You hear about that also? 
they are going to reject. That, the, that is the prasad kripa of Maya, Maya Devya. This is the prasad of Maya Devi. That's why they don't come. They like to take the prasad of Maya. They are not interested to take the prasad of Yoga Maya. That's why they are going. So you see, such a great devotee, Paramansa, because you are going to fail. If somebody say, my Gurudev is Paramansa, worldwide preacher, I say your Gurudev is failure. In the beginning, first point. In first point, your Gurudev is failure. Why? But a Janma, the Suyatu and Miyadya, Nirma Saranam Satam. Nigama Kalpatur Urgulitam Palam. Sukham Khad Amrita Dava Samjitam. After that next law, you can run. Your Gurudev is what? Nirma Saranam Satam. At all, if you like to step, if you, at all, if you like to step into Gauriya Bhajan, first of all, you have to qualify. There you are failure. The whole world mad. Crazy. They are all crazy. They are running. Okay, let them do. They have no basic idea to understand. That, how you can say, he is full of masharya, jealousy. And in Bhagavad Dharma, if you like to, if you like to qualify, you have to sit for exam, entrance, entrance exam. If you pass qualify, that you have no masharya, then you can be allowed. To enter. So you are not qualified? You are saying worldwide preacher? How you can say? You are jealousy. You are jealousy, you are rejected in the first hand. First hand. In the first hand, you are rejected. But you are whole world running. Reject them now. What I can do? What I can do? I have nothing to do. Nirma Saranam Satam, it is written. Nirma Saranam Satam, you can go first, second and third slok, three slok. You can go to home and open. Those who are qualifying for Bhagavad Dharma, surely they are devoid of Mahasya You are full of Mahasya so you are failure. What I can do? This way there is big problem. Everybody cannot digest absolute truth. If they feel problem, they should not come. Everybody, they have no power to hear about their self. If they feel problem, they don't come. They can stay at home. But I cannot change my Siddhanta. Because it is not my Siddhanta. It's coming up from up. Anyway, so, you see, but a great devotee. All devotees they used to come to take shelter and throw a lotus feet up. Bhakti Pramaturi Goshima, they used to allow them to go and take shelter unto a lotus of Santu Goswami Maharaj. He used to demand, he used to deserve that Bhakti Pramaturi Goswami Maharaj in my Shiksha Guru, he bring me, he bring me from home to Madhav Goswami Maharaj used to give. He takes shelter, the great devotee. He never, in his whole life, to understand a Vaishnava, to understand a Vaishnava, he must be intelligent enough. Idiot. To understand a Vaishnava, who is Vaishnava, you must understand. This is a symptom. He has no pratishta asa, no desire to collect pratishta, money, nothing. Even Guru Padma, someday, in his 98, 90th or 100, 100, 100 years completion, he took birth in the year of 19, 19, uh, no, 18, 1898. He took birth in the year of 1898. Follow. 1898. And throughout this whole century, he is going to live body around uh, 1999. Almost 2000. And, and when this? December come. So, whole century is going to witness. He took birth there. In Ganga Nandapur, at present Bangladesh, Jashore. Oh, horrible. People are so foolish. In the name of Gauriya Bhajan, they are going to read some rubbish book, full of Siddhanta Virod. But they have reputation, they are going to do. False reputation. 
but to do. To understand a devotee, to realize a pure devotee, you must understand this way. You must test him. You must test him. You can see he has any pratishta is there or kamini kanchan, anything he has. If not, be sure he is a Vishnu. Maybe you are not going to give any garland, any pranami to him, what is concerned to him. For a Vaishnava, it is all the same. For a Vaishnava, it is all the same if you insult or give honor, all the same. For a Vaishnava, it is all the same if you are going to give honor, garland, pranami, or not going to insult, okay, no problem. This is the, this is the nature of a pure Vaishnava. This is the nature of a pure Vaishnava. This, no Mascharja, Prabhupada speaking, if there is no Pratishta Asa, then be sure he is devoid of Mascharja. All, all competition, all Mascharja coming from where? From, from competition. From competition. You have jealousy. Then you can understand. Don't try to involve yourself in particular. Try to catch Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami I promise you, he can go out. Don't try to put yourself in particular. It is my request unto your lotus feet. I am going to sacrifice my life for the 100% interest, complete interest of Gauriya Mat and Gauriya doctrine. Prabhupada, I mean Parampara Siddhanta Vishal. So, you see, you see the nature. When hundred years complete, then all devotees all over the world, they are coming to pay Dandavada unto the lotus feet of this and all. All over the world they are coming. What to do? Guru Patma was crying and speaking. Guru Patma was crying and speaking. You are coming to, you are coming to worship me. I think you are going to worship Pahupad. A genuine disciple, going to think that I am the dust particle from the lotus feet of Guru Pātpā. It is the identity of Guru Pātpā, one disciple. This is, the <coughs> this, is the <coughs> this is the identity of a genuine, this is the identity of a genuine disciple. We always think, I have no separate, <coughs> we always going to think I have no separate inter. <coughs> Patishtha. If at all, if you would like to give me pratishtha, you try to think that I am, I, I, want, I wanted to become a dust particle from the lotus feet of my Guru Path Pandusila Prabhupada. At all, if you are going to give any honor to me, I think you are giving honor to Prabhupada because your honor I cannot accept directly in relation to, in relation, in relation to Prabhupada. I think you are going to give me honor in, in relation to Prabhupada. Otherwise, who am I? How you can give honor? Humble mood. Crying? You coming to worship me? I have nothing. I have nothing so that you can worship me. Well, if you are coming to worship me, I think you are going to worship Prabhupada. You can worship Prabhupada. Don't worship me. I am a fallen soul. You all my bandhava, friend, even disciple, eh? small, small disciple, Small age. They are not high age. Guru Padma, you are my bandhava, friend. You are going to protect me. Every now and then, I can fall down. Every now and then, I can fall down. You are coming to protect me. Like Prabhupada is speaking, same. I think at present, bhajan is very typical. Because so much affluence is coming, Guru Padma. This point going to hit the heart of my Shiksha Guru, Sela Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj. Everybody is speaking. But when Bhakti Bhakti Pariyashtra is speaking this point, Guru Padma, I think at present Hari Bhajan is really very difficult because at that time of Prabhupada, there is a scarcity of money, you know, anything. Now, abundant appliances, huge appliances coming. So appliances is against Hari Bhajan for bonded soul. Appliances is not against Hari Bhajan for 
Parikhit Maharaj. Appliances is not against Hari Bhajan for Yudhishthir Maharaj, for Ambarish Maharaj, Prithu Maharaj, but for bonded soul. I have seen my life. I am not speaking lie. I have seen like a beggar, staying in a mud room. I've been there to their house. Now they claim I am from a high family. Even two bread cannot be. Now I'm going to preach that I am from a high family. I've been there in the house 25 years back. Slum house, slum. Broken. Now I'm going to make billions of dollars. At least, at least if they have their spirit, at least, at least if they have their spirit to speak about general truth. I am not speaking absolute truth. It is general truth, no? That I was very poor family. General truth, no? It is not absolute truth. Foolish. You don't understand. It is general truth, no? That I was from a very poor family. My house was a slum house. I very poor. It's general. You cannot take you cannot take support. Even you cannot take support of general truth. How I can expect that you can take shelter of the absolute truth and can preach all over the world? I am not a drunkard. That I have taken so much wine and I can speak. Oh, is everything okay? Even you have no spirit to confess that Maharaj, I was from a poor family. You cannot speak. My Guru Maharaj speaking. I was from a very poor family. Very poor family. Still, after getting service in government service, in poor trust, you are going to leave service. For the service, for the service, for the seva of Prabhupada, you are going to leave. Very poor family, father gone. Mother cannot take arrange bread. In front of Prabhupada, Guru Pada was coming. Guru Prabhupada, if you allow me, they can arrange something for two hours or three hours, they can do some job, something, and arrange some money from uh, for them. They cannot take a, even arrange in a, in a prasadam. Prabhupada, Prabhupada speaking, don't worry. I can arrange money for your father and mother. Don't think. But actually, Guru Pada never wanted to take money. Actually, Guru Pātpāpā never wanted to take money. Never. He took money. I never took any money from Guru Maharaj. My Guru Pātpāpā never took money from Prabhupāda. Eh, Prabhupāda speaking. Don't worry. My, when Guru Pātpāpā was speaking to Prabhupāda, then everything arrived. No need of giving money. So again, to, going to uh, you know, resign in service, while doing service, while doing service, uh, in the year of 19, uh, in the 1922, I think. Uh, he took initiation from Prabhupada in Janmashtami, the same year. Janma Harinam Diksha. He used to come from office in the beginning. When he was a service holder, he used to come to home, immediately change clothes and go to Prabhupada Ulta Dengi Junction. Including number one Ulta Dengi Junction, he used to go to attend the Harikatha Prabhupada. Follow. Even less interest to take any prasadam. No time. Throw up his bag and take one or some. Immediately run. To attain the Harikatha Prabhupada. Follow. One day Guru Padman is going to put on the shoe. I mean, case, case, you know, case, I and mean, cloth, cloth shoes. Cloth. Made of cloth, canvas cloth, you know, canvas. He wanted to put his leg inside the shoe, one Scorpio bite. One Scorpio bite. Guru Pātpada not going to kill that Scorpio. You see the mercy. Scorpio is there inside this shoe. Guru Pātpada put the leg inside the shoe, one Scorpio going to bite, sting. Guru Padma is going to open the scores and throw, but not going to do, not going to kill. Not going to kill the Scorpio. Throw outside and with this pen, Guru Padma running to Prabhupada to hear Harikatha. Going to sit in front of Harikatha, Haripada Prabhupada speaking, sit. Prabhupada watching some pain there in the body. Whole Harikatha. 
He is hearing with full patience. After Harikatha is over, Prabhupada is asking, you have some pain in your body, I think? Guru Padma is laughing. Before I come, it is the arrangement of Maya Devi. See, don't allow me to go come to you. What happens? Prabhupada knowing everything. Prabhupada knowing everything, but he is asking. One Scorpio Bible. Oh, really? Ah. Prabhupada could realize is the eternal, eternal seva. Bhakti Bhagavad Purika Shiva is eternal seva. That's why I am going to cut short all my Harikatha. So many things I have no time to discuss. Before living body, before living, just previous day, <coughs> one, two, two or three days before living body, living this material world. Prabhupada was there inside room. Prabhupada cannot move anywhere. Guru Padman approaching, nobody there. Nobody there. Prabhupada closing eyes. Half lane, you know, half lane, you know. There is one chair, half you can sit, half you can, you know, lie. Guru Padma was taking the lotus feet of Prabhupada very slowly, this way, and putting on the chest, and started crying. Then Prabhupada opened eyes. <coughs> Prabhupada was going to open eyes. Guru Padma was speaking, I can never forget. Guru Padma was speaking, I can never forget that karuna, that mercy. I can never forget that mercy. Prabhupada wanted to give to me through his darshan. Up to last moment, where Guru Padma was 100 years, I was bound to compile one small life because they don't give me diary anything. But what I heard from Guru Padma, I started writing. That was published in English also. They wanted to cut some portion. Because I am insignificant personality, no? they wanted to cut. They are not publishing. From America it was published. But they wanted, they are useless man. They cut half. Follow. It was published. A Mandela publication from America. They think it necessary. Last. Last all magazine over. Last there was one magazine. Uh, uh, my writing. Even they are going to cut short. Half portion they cut. They think it is a useless man. They are what I heard from Guru Padma. I was bound to think because they are not going to give me any you know, diary, anything. There is master here. What to do? Then they pass their diary to America. They don't give because I, I, I become famous as a writer of the life history of Bhakti Bhumapurika. It is the arrangement of Maya Devi. I am very happy that I am not enjoying this uh, name and fame like the writer of. You know, anyway. <laughs> so, Guru Padma was speaking. Last time, I am taking the lotus feet of Prabhupada. On, I wrote it. Then I feel extraordinary power. Prabhupada looking at me, Guru Padma speaking, I can never forget. In infinity period of time, in infinity period of time, I can never forget that kind of mercy shown by Prabhupada, special mercy that day. Papa speaking. Voice, voice, Papa speaking. Oh, Panubananda, you. But the way of, uh, you know, way of speaking, and way of speaking, and way, way of uh, looking, way of, you know, way of speaking and looking at me. It's abnormal. Supernatural. That time, Guru Padma was very anxious. He could realize that Prabhupada is not going to stay anymore. That day, afternoon day, it happened. And there was a system that 12 hours, Guru Padma giving service to Prabhupada, 12 hours. 24 hours, 12 hours, Guru Padma, 12 hours, Guru Padma going to serve. Night time and day time, Paramananda Prabhu, Paramananda. And Guru Padman, his name was Pranavanando. Pranavanando. And his name is Paramanando. Two. Twelve hours mo from morning six to evening six. From morning six to evening six. Serving Paramanando. And Pranavanando uh, from night time. 
uh, evening time six to morning six. When from when Guru Padma going away from the room, when Guru Padma going away from the room of Sila Prabhupada, why? Because the service is over. Now Paramananda coming. Guru Padma one by one step. One, two, heavy. Leg is heavy. Leg is heavy. He is going to put leg one by one. And one to uh, is you know shedding tears. We think Prabhupada not going to stay anymore. In the meantime, from the backside, Paramananda, Paramananda Prabhu calling, Paramananda, come quickly, come. I think Prabhupada is gone. You come in. They discover Prabhupada already gone. <coughs> Nishanto Leela. Night time. Radha Govinda Nishanto Leela. Live body. All devotees in the temple, they brushed into tears, especially Guru Padma. Started pushing, you know, dashing in the head on the ground. Pashane kutibo matha onole pashibo gauranga guner nidhi kothagele pavo. This is not a matter of joke. Practical. When Narthamata Guru crying, when Narthamata Guru crying and writing this kirtan, you can find the applied form of this kirtan in the life of Bhakti Purigishima. Applied form in the life of Bhakti Purigishima. When North Mata was crying, Pashane Kutibo Matha Onole I like to jump into fire. I like to I like to break my head by dashing against a, a stone. Pashane Kutibo Matha. I like to jump into fire. Where I can get Gauranga? Gauranga Gunanudhi Kothapa. There's a feeling, practical feeling. You could see in the life of Bhakti Mahaturi Goswami. They are not playing in a drama like present people. Finally, Guru Padma speaking, it was a miracle. Guru Padma speaking, it was a miracle. All the watch, all the watch in the temple, all the watch, here, there, anywhere, any room. All when Prabhupada is going to leave body, stand still. Miracle. Guru Padma, any, there is in the, in the temple, I mean, Garva Mandir, inside Deity Temple, Deity inside, Natta Mandir, any room of Prabhupada, you know, anywhere, all watch. And, you know, all watch and wall cloth, wall clock, all stand still. Guru Padma says, all stand still. When Prabhupada living body, that stands still, not moving. I was bound to explain this point very, very sensitive way. Guru Maharaj was very happy. Guru Padma told this point, I told that all watch and cloth, uh, clock st stuck up. One point. At the time, Prabhupada living body. It going to imply it's going to prove that Prabhupada entering into eternal Nitya Jagat Seva, eternal Seva. <coughs> Nitya Seva. Because in eternal world, there is no value of this material time. Time, space and matter, everything controlled by Yoga Maya. In transcendental world, Aprakita Jagat, in Aprakita Jagat you can see all <coughs> time, space and matter all controlled by Yoga Maya. Follow. What is time? Einstein was mad. Sometimes Einstein used to become mad to think about time. What kind of direct feeling he could get by reading Gita daily? He used to read Gita. He learned, he, he learned Sanskrit to understand the meaning of Gita by the mercy of Bhagavan. He was the first man, except the sadhu. He was the first man to understand, realize what is time. If in your life you understand what is time, you can go mad. You have no realization what is time. Time is flowing. Time is flowing like current. You cannot catch. You cannot bring back your previous age. You can bring that. You can bring your previous age. Time and tide wait for none. 
It implies that Prabhupada is going to enter into eternal seva, nitya jagat, nitya seva. So, going to give us consolation, don't try to cry. If possible, you can try to follow me, try to, uh, you know, implement all my desire. So, do. So, Guru Padma, this way, you know. So, all Guru Padma used to say, in the hundred, I was I off, no, in the meantime, I was speaking something else. Guru Padma used to say, in that time, hundred years completion, big assembly in Puri. Guru Padma speaking, at present, Hari Bhajan is really difficult. Because due to appearances, people are feeling false ego. I cannot find even a single, a single man who is devoid of false ego. Guru Padma used to say, at present, there is, a, there is a, you know, very dangerous situation. Because opulence is coming from foreign country, money coming, this coming. So, genuine thing, original thing of bhajan going away. They became interested with it. That's why Papa told, it is not the target of a life. That's why Papa many times told, that's why many times Papa used to tell, it is not the target of your bhajan life to collect huge money amount position. La puja patisha. If huge amount of money we are going to more than sufficient. More than sufficient when we are going to collect money, that money and appliances can make me a beast. That money and appliances can make me a beast or more than a beast. That's why Shukdev Goswami writing in Srimad Bhagavatam. So many things I like to link with this Harikatha. Shukdev Goswami is speaking. When Supreme Lord is there, when Supreme Lord is there, why I can run for bank account? Why? My Bhagavan is poor? My Bhagavan is street beggar? Do you think? My Bhagavan is a street beggar? Why should I run to open a bank account? Whatever I need, Bhagavan can arrange. Because I am not going to ask for money. If Bhagavan think it necessary to send some money for this seva, he can automatically send. Why should I speak? We can speak this seva going on. Okay. That much. So Guru Padma speaking, same like Sukhdev Goswami. Sukhdev Goswami. Why those devotees, why those devotees, they are going to catch the lotus feet? Why those devotees, they are going to catch the feet of those rich people? Kasmat bhajanti, kasmat bhajanti dhanudurma dandhan. Kasmat bhajanti, why? Why they are going to catch the, load, catch the feet of those rich people? Those who are blind, they cannot see pure Vaishnava. They cannot see. It is a nature. Maya Devi cannot allow you to see Vaishnava. You have sufficient money and influences. Rather, you can criticize Vaishnava and kick if possible. That you can do. That is your profit that you can follow what I say. Kashmad bhajanti dhanadurva dandhan. Why those devotees, they are going to catch the feet of those rich people, those who are blind? They cannot see. They cannot understand the glories of Vaishnavas. Why they are going to? Why? Bhagavan cannot give. Bhagavan cannot give. Two bread, Bhagavan cannot arrange. Kashmad bhajanti. And Naraji Mara speaking to? Naraji Maharaj, Naraji Maharaj speaking to whom? Eh? Naraji Maharaj speaking to whom? Naraji Maharaj speaking to, in, to, foolish. You cannot understand what I am speaking. The two sons, two sons of Kuber. Two sons of Kuber. Naraji Maharaj speaking. Asato Simedan, Asato Simadan Dhasyo, Daridram Paramanjanam. Today you are going to commit Aparat. Today you are going to commit aparat unto a lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava. Why? You have sufficient money. 
You are rascal number one. You are idiot number one. You want to show your money power. You can go to hell for infinity period. Guru Vaishnav never think money is so important. They think it is just like urine and stool. Repeatedly I told you, keep your money with you. You keep your money to your son, wife, daughter, you can give and come to me naked. I can arrange your prasadam. But you like to show your power. I have money power. Now you can go for infinity period. You can go to hell. Bhagavan cannot mercy. I can excuse, but Bhagavan cannot excuse. I can excuse. Anybody cheating me, taking my library away, they are going to identify, I am the owner of the... I give the excuse. Because anyway, they are going to get punishment from up. Why should I be busy to give punishment to them? It's a waste of your time. It is just wastage of time. Why should I waste my time? Follow. Ashoto, they are Naraji Mara speaking. They are Naraji Mara speaking. Ashoto Shemadandasho Daridram Paramanjanam. Ashoto Shemadandasho. Those who are full of false ego, it is good if they are going to lose their position, money, everything. They can discover their own position. Oh, I am beggar. If they are enjoying the money power, anything, they can make a false ego. Surely they can get punishment. Bhagavan cannot excuse. Bhagavan cannot excuse. Nithyananda Babu can never excuse. Their foundation of bhajan, try to understand, very important one. Their foundation of bhajan is based on a hollow, hollow structure. Their foundation of bhajan is nothing there. Foundation of bhajan means Trinadapi. You don't understand what it is. If I go on explaining one word, it will take week, week, one week. One week, long week, I can. Your foundation means your Trinadapi. Your foundation means faith in Guru Vaishnava. Your foundation means your Seva mood. We don't understand. You think. You have taken diksha from Bhakti Bhumat Purigishima. Oh, Maharaj! You are foolish, idiot number one. You don't understand. Nothing. You might have taken diksha from Prabhupada, but what concern to you? You are doing opera, fallen soul. Fallen soul, their death, their death can prove how they are going to die. They can understand. By this death, they can understand. Hello. So, this way, those who are going to protect their false ego in their life, surely they cannot make any progress in their life. Maybe they have taken shelter unto Al Rasbhav, Vopat, unto Al Rasbhav, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, and nothing, no progress, no benefit, no benefit, because Papa speaking, their dikha is not at all dikha. Because there is dikha is not at all dikha, it is false dikha. They can get something, sukriti. If they are not going to do any aparat, ah, okay, by this, okay, by this dikha, they can get some sukriti. And if they are going to commit some aparat, then all sukriti can go away, all their previous pious activities, all can go. Pious activities, all done, whole your life can go away. It is sastra. It is written in Shastra. Those who are going to commit Aparad and to the speed of Guru Vaishnav, all their previous pious activities, all their you know, Sukriti, all can go away. Can say nothing. All can go away. Void, void, null and void. Vacant. Vacant, all. If they are going to make, commit Aparad. So, in Bhagavatam it is written, they are going to get some negative result. They can fall down day by day. Day by day can fall down. Anyway, in whole life of Sila Bhakti Pumat Puri Maharaj, in the whole life of Sila Bhakti Pumat Puri you cannot find even a single instance. Single instance you cannot find out when you can, when you can show that he wanted to insult somebody. One instant, whole life, you can check out. You cannot show. 
the single instant he wanted to insult somebody never but when he saw somebody going to insult one vaishnav one day one taxi driver one day one taxi driver wanted to insult bhakti to the madhu maharaj then bhakti to the madhu maharaj just like lion just like lion all people all around what happens like lion we are speaking very humbly they become lion why you speak in bhagavatam it is written ayu sriyo yaso dharmo try to understand this sloka ayu sriyo yaso dharmo lokana ashish evacha hunting sanks sarvani mahadatikramah if you are going to insult a pure guru vishnu then going to lose everything all your power money power everything all can go up. everything money power mean pure money power i mean white money can go up. white money if there you know everything can go away from your life you cannot maintain all your prestige all your honor all your sukriti i mean positive sukriti or any pious activities you have done in your life or maybe your grandmother grandfather or elderly personality is going to bless you my son i bless you all can get vanish from your life maybe some elderly person going to bless you in your life but all gone ayu sriyo yasu dharmo lokana ashish evacha hunting shyanks sarvani mahadatikramah if you going to insult 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 or believe they are not going to marry many people they used to insult guru pat pat we have never seen any reaction inside him some acharya from that side of river he is going to pass remark are bhakti pat puri ke samay je kanishta devotee is kanishta devotee used to watch archan is busy with archan one idiot acharya from that side of river one idiot acharya people are so foolish all over the world foolish for infinity pure they can get reaction guru pad pad not feeling any reaction if somebody going to complain maharaj that acharya that sarva viva he is going to pass remark that you are kanishta devotee you are busy with archan guru pad pad are laughing a oh, very good i thought i have no rank i thought i have no rank in my life at least he is going to provide one rank to me come on why you are crying is very good i thought i have no rank at least he is going to give me a kanishta dikar i am very grateful to him because they idiot their acharya sip can take their acharya sip can take their acharya sip can take thousands of their follower into hell three time i speak three time this absolute truth three time i am going to announce with all of their followers those acharyas they going to hell for infinity period they cannot get any mercy from nitananda madhavendu puripad worshiping gopal ishwar puripad going to worship bhagwan pundarik vidyani ji going to worship salogram what do you mean what do you mean ha eh? what do you mean rascal they are going to worship that doesn't mean that a kanishtha adhikari pundarik vidyani ji paramangsha topmost paramangsha he is going to worship salogram damodar salogram guru patman used to worship radha gopinath so how you can speak this way the worshiping madhavendu puripad also you can go to chaitanya jyotish madhavendu going obishek and archan of gopal sinad ji ha eh? how you can pass this kind of remark if at all bhakti mohan purigeshi mai is going to worship any salgram or gopirada gopinath that doesn't mean he is kanishtha adhikari their archan is like lalita sakhi going to do archan of radha gobind you know they are worshiping if pavpad going to worship a bhakti mohan purigeshi mai sidhar gosi mai going to worship you know radha gobind vigra or radha gobind radha madan mohan radha damodar doesn't mean they are kanishtha adhikari they are worship 
Their archan is a high level. They are topmost serving. They are serving. You see that they are doing archan. But they are serving with inner mood. Just like Lalita, Vishakha, Chand, you know, they are worshipping Bhagavan. They are worshipping, it's just like the worship, Shivaspan, you know, all, you know, Narahari, Adi, Kori, Chamarodula, you can find. Jogopit, Jogopit here you can find in Gaurdham, Jogopit you can find in Vrindavandham. Rupa Goswami speaking, na Dibbat Bindar no Kalpadramada Shimadatnaga Shinga Sanastau Shishi Radha Sri Govinda Devu Prestali Vi Prestali Vi Shabba Manusa Shabba Manusa Ramya Seva Minaj Seva Their Archan is Seva to seek the satisfaction of their Ishta Dev. They are trying their best. How you can say they are Kanishya Dikar? One or two instant, I have no time to explain on detail. One or two instants I can speak. One or two instant. For some days, Guru Padmo was there in you know Kalyani, Kalyani one station. After Krishnagar, you can find Kalyani. In that you know village, now city, that time it was village, Guru Padmo was busy to worship Radha Madan Mohan. That Radha Madan Mohan is not ordinary deity. Deity means ordinary, I cannot speak this word. Because deity means surely not ordinary. Deity means, when I am speaking this word deity, that means I am going to confess, Sheva Vigraha Sarup, Tin Ek Tin Nahi Ved Tin Ek Sarup. So I must be very punctual, like mathematics. If I make one point, if I if I forget to put one point, decimal point, whole mathematics I can get zero. So while I am speaking, I am very alert. Just now I told, na? Deity. Deity mean? Deity, when I am speaking deity, then surely I am going to confess that deity mean Bhagavan himself. So I should be very careful about using any word, any punctuation. Very careful. Otherwise, Big problem. Guru Bhattvanda using? That deity as a great glory is. That deity was there in the village of Guru Bhattvanda, in previous village. That deity Madan Mohan was there in Jashore. When Guru Bhattvanda was a very small boy, 10 years, 5 years, 10 years, he used to go and sit in the lap of the aunt, auntie of Bhakti Bhiva Gavartu Maharaj. Understand what I say? My Guru Padma, my 10 years boy, 12 years boy, used to go and sit in the lap of auntie of Bharti Maharaj. Bhakti Bhiva Gavartu Maharaj. So, he used to give some prasadam. And that Madan Mohan there, I don't like to explain only details, time cannot permit. Madan Mohan going to steal rasa, you know, plum tree, you know, plum tree? Don't understand. Plum tree, plum tree. There is rasa, na? Dropping. The rasa, the rasa in a plum tree, special rasa in the plum tree. Madan Mohan, you know, in the very early in the morning, going to climb, climb this, you know, tree and going to take rasa, stealing rasa. Madan Mohan going to steal rasa. And somebody watch, Madan Mohan jump and one portion of Madan Mohan, thigh, cut. Madan Mohan jump immediately, very quickly, went to get down from the, and there, Madan Mohan cut his, you know, this jump, you know, thigh, thigh. And that mark, that mark of cut, that mark of cut, still today, if you can go with me, I can show you. The cloth you can open, you can see there is cutting. That mother and more. Guru Ma used to love him, kiss him. Used to seva. His seva was just like Gopi used to kiss him. One day, by chance, he was in absorbing mood. Guru Padmani absorbing him. Uh, he is finally going to do nighttime arati to close the temple. All everything over, going to close the temple, come out. 
and after they are taking some snack, prasadam little, and go to take them. But cannot sleep. There is some, there is some agitation inside the body. Whole body shaking. Why? As very, my health was very nice. Why? Yes. Cannot sleep. After that, immediately in dream, within half hour, within half, within half an hour of his sleeping, immediately Madan Mohan came in dream and speaking, well, you forget to give the blanket to me. I am suffering. Oh, Madan Mohan suffering due to cold. That's why Guru Patman was also feeling cold. Too much oneness. Too much oneness is beyond, it is beyond human comprehension. It is beyond human comprehension. I was feeling. Immediately Guru Patman said, get up. Oh, I have done some offense. Immediately go and open the temple taking birth. Taking birth. After open temple, beg for excuse and crying and giving blanket to the deities and come. If I go on speaking, it will make one Mahabharat epics. But you don't give me time. You don't give me time. And also I have no time. From Calcutta, so many devotees coming now, I have to run like a dog. No time. Even I cannot arrange your process. I think I can do. Uh, you do. Anyway, so you can remember. The first sloka I speak from Chaitanya Charitamrita. Durga me pati me andhasho skalat pad gater mahu. Eh? Shaki pa jashti dane no santaha santu avalamaram. Follow. Jano shakrishina de bimukha shadaiva. Adharma sila shashu du kitasha. Ono gruhaye ho charanti nunam. Bhutani bhavyani janar danasha. Vanchakalpata rusika basi in the bhavaja. I couldn't speak anything. I couldn't glorify Guru Pātpāda. I couldn't. I'm very sorry. 